enter Homelander. You think I'm fragile? No, I do not. You try doing any of this. I mean, fucking any of it. Without me. I couldn't. Madeline. Oh. Did it ever occur to you that a soup terrorist showing up exactly when we needed him to was a pretty fucking incredible coincidence? It's almost like Someone planned it. Me. Him? No, he didn't. Oh? Say something? Is she gonna be upset about this? Or she's just incredibly turned on? The second one. <laughs> Sit down. <sighs> this is uncomfortable. <clears throat> Does he do something crazy when he has? Uh... No. <laughs> Everything about these two just makes me uncomfortable. He he does such a good job of looking like a little kid in these moments. I promise. No more secrets. She's got at she's gotta have at least a few more secrets. I'm sorry. It's a giant I couch. Tell you about your baby. It's just that you carry so much, and the pain of losing a child to miscarriage is... I just wanted to spare you that burden. Do you understand? Yes. I, just, I don't think it died. What did he just do? He's going to get caught on purpose. There's nothing <laughs> immediately. Never is a man thrown his life away so completely like you thrown yours away today. <laughs> no. no one even needs you. Rescue Nelson is the most useless, futile gesture I can think of. Yeah, I, I got it. Unbelievable. All right, so what's the plan? <laughs> useless, futile gesture. Kids are sitting on the sleeper. How did he get in? No worries, he is. I'll be searching for her guns for this. He doesn't have any weakness. No. There isn't a weapon on earth that they haven't thrown at him. They've all failed. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. Me? Yeah, you're the only thing he gives two shits about. You're his weakness. Is he gonna kill her? blood spatter for getting shot there. You get shot twice? Oh, fuck. She better be fucking worth it. What? 
You cover him. Wait, what? Cover him. No, I don't know. I, don't, I can't do this. You I just can't. pulled the fucking trigger. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh. Oh. Got her. Kind of surprising. Come out. Oh, oh shit! Like Do your okay, 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 okay. On your, okay. On your sure. fucking knees. Sure. Face the wall. Hands on your heads. <laughs> yeah, Annie. Saving the day. In her old costume. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo! Yeah. Gang, gang! Now she's gonna punch him. Yeah, dang right. Ooh, is she gonna fight A Train? It's like a Wild West duel. He's gonna have a heart attack. But it was your fault. Dang. Especially for one of you. One of you. Okay. Cut the bullshit, huh? You know that we, uh... uh bro, it's not my fault, okay? She came on to me. It happens. Stop. You know, it's, it's the fame. They got crushes. There's nothing I can do about it. But what I will tell you is, she was a hell of a lay. <laughs> oh, she came three times, eh? Three times. All right. You think I'm responsible for her death, don't you? So now, you have a hostage that, that I care about, right? Someone I love. So, what's your plan from here? Uh, what do you want? Do you want a confession or what's your end game? Theme of the show. Just answer one question for me. Just one. How do you know? How do you know? I mean, you must have some rock solid proof, right? That it was actually me who killed your wife. You must have that, right? So, what is it? Share. Just Madeline's word. And she lied. I'm calling it. She lied. Are you telling me that this whole thing 
is based on fucking feelings? A hunch? Please take it upstairs! Hold on. Take it upstairs! Shut the fuck up! Excuse me. You promised me. No more lies. You fucking promised me. You and Vogelbaum should have got your story straight. They were so close. So fucking close. But there was a few little details that were different. So I went back to Vogelbaum. And I managed Ooh. to squeeze the truth out of him. The real truth. Yes. That's it. Tell me the truth. Or I walk out right now. I'm scared of you. Thank you. Thank you for finally being honest. <gasps> oh. What did he learn? What was that plan again? Oh well. He he got him out. Did he not kill him? He just took him out? Kids alive. No way. Homelander. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What? Oh my God. You know who else? No. That guy. I knew it. Oh. Freaking knew it. Sucks. That's all oh, that's under the season? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. heavy I knew it <laughs> ah, I'm so freaking smart <laughs> okay need to take a drink of water real quick <laughs> I called it from the very first moment. I knew she wasn't dead. I knew she was alive. And then when I found out about the kid, I knew the kid was alive too. It's all a lie. Oh, freaking butcher. Oh man. His wife cheats on him. Wasn't raped. She cheats on him. has a kid with Homelander and then they put her in like protective custody or something like they got to be testing that kid there's no way they just let that kid be that like his own life the, like they they have to be watching him somehow 
and they just put them there. And he grows up, and she just willingly lives that life. Like, she doesn't even... She never told him anything. She never said, hey, I had an affair with Homelander, and now I'm pregnant. She just took it and left. Oh my gosh. And so he's had this whole vendetta against Homelander. I mean, he can rightfully be upset with him for having sex with his wife. That's completely understandable. But he has been under the impression that Homelander raped his wife and potentially killed her or caused her to kill herself. And so he's just had this mission. And now he finds out that it was all a lie. Did Mallory lie to him or does she not know? Like, did she think it was because Homelander raped her? Or was she just like willing to use him and used that lie to get it? She either didn't know or she willingly lied to him. Either way, he's been operating under the assumption that this all happened and it's a, it didn't. And, oh man. That's insane. That's, oh. and he's brought these people into this operation with him, essentially ruined their lives because of a lie. Mother's milk essentially lost his wife and his daughter via separation, pretty much. They don't want to see him because of a lie. Frenchie probably lost, I mean, his girlfriend wasn't like crazy important. He didn't, he didn't really lose much. <laughs> he was already kind of like a, a criminal. But he, he actually gained a girlfriend. Um, Huey lost a girlfriend, although that wasn't really part of the lie. But he got roped into this, and he essentially has his life, like, flipped upside down. And he, I mean, he gained another girlfriend, a better one, arguably. But he is still, like, a fugitive now. And Annie essentially had her life flipped upside down. Like, she went from hopefully, like, being in the seven and having a good life to, like, hating her mom. I'm not sure how she currently feels about Huey, but, like, she's saving A-Train's life somehow, possibly. We don't know what the situation will be on that next season. I imagine there will be some sort of conflict. Like, is she going to be viewed as a hero still? Or is she going to be a fugitive as well with them? And she just, like, knows for herself that she's a hero? Um, A-Train, he'll probably live, I'm guessing. Um, Black Noir killing it as always he's just he, he's perfect he can do no wrong um i want to know what's under the mask though that's interesting um yeah i don't even know man that's cr freaking crazy um what else what else bro that's such a, like, a heavy... The Deep? He's just depressed in Ohio. <laughs> he... I wonder what he... I wonder what The Deep's gonna do. Like, he... He feels stuck in Ohio now, because he's not been notified, kind of, that he's not gonna be part of their military operation. 
and he did the classic impulsive thing of shaving off his whole head. I I thought for a moment he was gonna do something to himself, um, like self harm, but he didn't. That was good to see. I I, I hope because. <sighs> Even though I hated him at the beginning, like, they spent the whole rest of the season just slowly rehabilitating him. And I hope, I hope they continue that. Like, I hope he can atone somewhat for the things he's done and, and maybe become a good guy. Um, that would, like, I feel like he can't just be the comedic punching bag forever that I mean that would suck he's writing a memoir he is depressed he makes smoothies out of vodka and fruit <laughs> but he's opening a, a theme park and water park he gets to cut the ribbon so he's got that going for him um <laughs> man like this is there are so many things I feel like I'm I'm jumping all over the place trying to talk about this, but this season finale was insane. We learned that it wasn't Vought necessarily that created um that created the super terrorist. It was Homelander and A Train. He had A Train run it across the globe and they created super terrorists and that just made Stillwell incredibly horny and they banged and he <laughs> he tried to slap her butt and it was like the weirdest looking slap ever <laughs> she just shut it down but then he he figured it out um when she said that the baby died from a miscarriage. Um, the, the stories were different because Vogelbaum's story was that the mother died and then the baby died like drowning on its mother's blood um, like 10 seconds later or whatever. I mean... She was there, so she, I don't, I mean, you knew it was a lie, but I don't know if that was necessarily, like, something that would have given it away, because you could just naturally assume that she just would say miscarriage instead of, instead of the baby drowned on its mom's blood, like, the baby died within the same five minute period, really like 30 second period of the birth. So like miscarriage could technically be a valid word to use in that particular situation. So I don't know, the The way that he figured it out was maybe a tiny, tiny un poco, tiny bit of a stretch, but that's still like, that's not, they had the wrong stories, I guess. And so he went back. I assume he killed Vogelbaum. Like, there's no way he let that dude live. Um, and then he just cooked her skull. Like, that. it was almost like a subdued, more intimate laser eye. Like, when, when he was just, like, furious, like, anger, just, he was ripping people apart. And, like, um, it's like, um, if you remember, there's a, the Injustice cartoon, um, or not the cartoon, the game. I, I think it's the game that it happens in where Superman, evil Superman, lasers, um, Billy Batson's head, Shazam's head, and he like he just looks him in the eyes and just lasers and just kills him. 
that was like this, except this was so like visceral. Like, her, like it didn't go through the back of her skull, so he didn't like force it through. He just like melted the inside of her head. And like, you could tell everything in her skull was just gone. It was like, just cooked and her like her face and skull like that was like all around that was just charred and black and then like I was I think in that moment I was expecting him to kill her like but I thought he was gonna like snap her neck or something else I did not expect just straight laser beams into her face like it wasn't like violent it was just this is happening goodbye and then he, I assume he just left her kid there I mean eventually the babysitter would wake up right because she was just oh wait no the kid probably died. Unless Homelander was quick enough to save both Billy and the kid, he just let that kid die. Frick. I mean, I guess the babysitter's still alive. She's just gonna wake up to an exploded house with a dead baby and a dead mom. Maybe they'll play that off as like a gas explosion. But Homelander saved Billy he obviously found out where, like, where Becca lived. And he's kind of getting what he's always wanted. Um, like, he always wanted an actual family. Like, he was furious at, the, at Dr. Vogelbaum for raising him in a lab. He has this weird sexual tension with Stillwell because she's like a mother figure. And now he is going to be the family. Like, he's going to be the head of the family, but he finally gets the family that he wanted in his mind, I guess. I think that's what he assumes is going to happen. And I, want, I wonder, like, what his plan is for this, like, is... What like what he thinks the new norm is gonna be? Oh man, this was an insane finale. I I literally I have no idea what's gonna happen next season. Like what? I thought another hero might die by the end. Of, like earlier in one of the previous videos, I I, I predicted that maybe one more hero would die but no they all everyone else lived like the deep i don't know if he's gonna be getting in any in any fights anytime soon um like his his arc next season might be working his way back and they might have to test him uh, like earn his spot back by by killing someone or or biting someone, um, so that's that's a potential situation. Um, Maeve's continued development like back into a good person. Like she she talked about how she gave away so much of who she was um, and went from this actual hero to this jaded individual um i assume that like her her arc of of finding herself again um will continue in season two um like you'd have to assume it would right and then you know a train i don't know what's gonna happen with a train because i i assume he's gonna live i don't think he's gonna die like, if he was going to die, they would have shown him die already. They would have shown him die in this episode. Um, he'll be recovering from a heart attack and uh, recovering from 
a compound V addiction, which is probably horrible. Um, yeah, Annie is going to be either a fugitive, knowing in her heart that she's a hero, or she'll they'll cover up something because they wouldn't they wouldn't want that image of uh, one of the seven going rogue. I feel like that would be a pretty bad image to have um, for the PR department. That would suck. So they might cover that up and be like, hey, if you don't go along with this, we're going to kill Huey. Um, Huey and Mother's Milk and Frenchie and Kimiko are now assumedly all on the run again, fugitives from the law. I don't know. I assume they'll continue running, um, maybe secretly meeting up with Annie for intel or assistance somehow. The Black Noir, I want to learn more about him, but I'm not sure how like integral to the story or narrative that will be. Um, I hope he plays a bigger part next season. Who else? Is Lamplighter still alive? I feel like he's dead. Or he retired. Or he they killed him and then they just said it was a retirement. Who knows? Um, I wonder what they're going to do about the super terrorist situation. Like, there's so many possibilities of like what the new norm, I guess, will be for the next season, and I, I have no idea. Like, I... Like, the... The thing that's in the most immediate, like, danger or needing of reconciliation is, is Butcher and Homelander and, the, and Becca and the kid. Like, there's no way she tries to... She can't try and play that off. Like, but I, I also need, wonder how soon into the next season they'll... They'll try and resolve that. I don't know, man. This was such a good first season of a show. Like, and this was just, like, such a... Not even just a good first season. Like, if this was the only season of the show, this would be a really, really good show. I mean, it is, it is a good show. It Like, this show is so good. A little gory in some parts, and, um, like... I think maybe maybe a tiny bit they could have toned that down, but otherwise, um, this show is really, really good. I really enjoyed this show. I've had a lot of fun watching this show. I, I feel like you guys have really enjoyed um, watching my reactions. Like These episodes have gotten a ton of love, um, so that means a lot. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. I think that's I think that's all I have. I don't know when season two will come out. Um, I know they they're filming it, or maybe I don't know if they're done filming season two already by the time this is uh, shown. Um, but I know they're filming filming it currently. Um, so I'll be I'll react to that when it comes out. It'll that'll probably come out next year though, so that'll be a while. Um, but yeah, <sighs> dang, that, that episode, holy crap, that season, I can't wait for season two, this is gonna be awesome, um, yeah, if you wanna see the full length reaction of that crazy episode, head over to my Patreon, that would be dope. You could be the first one. But other than that, please make sure to like and subscribe. It has been an honor watching through my second series with you.
First one is Stranger Things, season three. Now, The Boys. Second full series done. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This has been Derek, signing off. Peace.